M0FXP, welcome back to the channel. Have you heard of the True USDX by DL2 MAN stroke PE1 November November Zulu? It's a five band QRP five watt transceiver that has CW, LSB, USB, AM and FM covering 80, 60, 40, 30 and 20 meters. Okay, let's get everything out of the packaging. I didn't just order the unit assembled. Now you can just buy the board, you can assemble it yourself. It's half the price, but I haven't. I've bought it completely assembled. I've even got an extra green outer housing for it. Why not? And the battery pack, which holds these batteries. So we'll, we'll just take it, everything out, have a look, and then we'll quickly turn it on and just have a listen. Of course, it's a tiny speaker, so don't expect anything amazing unless you plug in an external headphone speaker or I am able to use my Bluetooth adapter, which always works great. And you just plug it into the speaker audio. So let's get on with it. So when you order the original, and I definitely would say do not order the copies, get the original. Then you'll get all of the firmware updates that, that you will want forever. Now, when you take it out of the packaging here, and I've gone for the orange, there's our green, there's, there's all kinds of colors, but I've gone for the orange. Um, just remember on the, on the this foil package on the other side, I'll just show you, is your serial number for upgrading the firmware. And even if you don't need to upgrade the firmware for adding your core sign. So just keep that in mind. So it's a very small device. Look at my microphone here. And you say, well, why would I want a tiny little QRP transceiver like this? Well, it's perfect for QRP. And I know that people do POTO and SOTA. It's not, not anything I've ever got into. It can be powered via the supplied five, let's get, this is the 12 volt supply that you get with it. And it just plugs in up here, like so. You also get the power cable to run your ordinary 12 volt power supply there. And you're gonna need that if you wanna transmit five volts, sorry, five watts. Otherwise it's only gonna transmit half a watt. And you do have an onboard microphone PTT and then you've got your menu selections and the tuning dial knob um, does have multiple functions and there's your little speaker. Really it wasn't designed to mainly be used with this speaker although it does work. You've got your mic key here, your audio out there and it actually works really well. PA for separate PTT control and your SMA antenna and it is supplied with SMA to BNC adapter, okay, and that works that works really well and is included So before I turn it on I'm going to just quickly show you the battery pack that you could get and the also the other color case that I decided to get that was about 20 pound both of these were about 20 pound So I'll make a completely separate video installing this, but it seems very straightforward. It holds three of these 18650 batteries and if you ask me they're gonna last three of them are gonna last forever if you ask me um, let's look at the how it's installed so what you do is on the back of here you take these bolts out and then, and then it's supplied with with longer bolts okay longer bolts which are in a little pack here just there once you put your batteries in there then this literally just slips down slips into that groove like so and then it will it does make the, the the unit a lot bigger but remember it's a small unit to start with so it ends up being quite a brick yeah but i'll tell you not tell you what i'm gonna really like that because one thing i really think is important if you want to get qrp contacts clear signals is you don't want to be running any power supply. Even, you know, this thing will actually, will actually, and I'll show you now, turn on with a micro USB. And I've got a small adapter that I use so I can use it with my USB-C. And I'm sure that newer models one day will probably have USB-C, but not in this case. So this is the latest version board. But if you want a nice clean signal, get out with a length of wire, um, cut to the right length, and you're going to have some contacts. And take your little paddle with you. I've uh, I've got this one that's on AliExpress. I'll tell you what, 
it's only about it was about 40 pounds but look at it and it actually works really really well i'm not into cw but i have practiced learning and i've really enjoyed it with this little thing and it's magnetic at the bottom and you get a magnetic plate that it sits on so i'll just the last thing i'll do is show you the other case and then we'll quickly turn it on so with the other case you get the front okay and then we get the the back the sides oh i'm dropping it all on the floor and your knob and the bolts that you're going to need okay i don't know what that big round thing i don't actually know what that big round thing is is that a spacer for the speaker I, I i'm guessing it's a space spacer for the speaker anyway with that let's just fire let's just turn this on we'll do separate videos installing the battery pack and eventually install installing the green net cover so just to demonstrate, I'm going to plug in the USB, the micro USB. That's my adapter. It takes me from USB-C to micro. You do need to get this in the right way around, of course. Uh, in it goes. And we can use this for loading firmware as well. And straight away it comes on. Now just to show off, I'm going to plug in my Bluetooth speaker so we get a better audio. But you can see that the audio is very tinny from the original speaker. And if you press and turn, you can change the volume, okay? So we'll plug in the where it says audio, 3.5 jack. We'll turn on, we've got my Abri, it's just a Bluetooth speaker microphone. They're only about £25. We'll turn that on. We'll turn on the Bluetooth sender. And that what will happen is they'll pair. And when they pair, we'll start hearing the audio. There you are. Connected. So I'll leave that in the background. And we can actually, I can actually adjust the volume using that, that microphone because it has a, a volume up and down. So I was really pleased when I got mine out of the box because I was expecting the screen to be blue. And it's blue and yellow. And when I was watching videos by um, DL2MAN, the device he was using was blue and yellow. And I remember saying to myself, I want a blue and yellow one. <laughs> so you can see it's working. Now, I'll just quick overview. So if we just press, it moves the dots along. And so you can change different increments. So at the moment, it's 50 kilohertz. Press it again. See it changing further over. Fine tuning now. Press again. And we're on the big, the big megahertz there. Now, if we just double press it, it changes bands. And the bands are, so I'm looking at the manual now, 80, 60, 40, 30, 20. And remember, you get complete support with this device if you buy the original. So that's me changing bands. We know about volume. We press and hold. See if anything happens there. Nothing there. Let's just try... Yeah, I'm just seeing what functions work. PTT, of course. I'm just pressing this one now. That's took me into the menu. Back out. Back out. So you don't have to use this button. Changing the mode, look. So we press it once, twice. It's changing the mode. We press menu, volume is number one, mode again, filter, bandwidth, the band that we're choosing to be on, tune rate, so that's step, VFO A and B, receive increment tuning, AGC which is on at the moment, noise reduction, S meter, We've got just S showing there. Let's change that to DBM, see what happens. And we can choose the SWR meter to be power or SWR. 
Semi QSK, is that a CW thing? Kia Speed, Kia Mode Straight. Let's just see if that's got paddle written. Yeah, like Lambic, there you are. You can select what you like. Kia Swap, what's that? Is that right and left, I guess? Vox, Noise Gate, TX Drive. These settings, you're going to need these settings. CQ Interval. To get, you know, it looks like you've got some CW preset messages there. PA bias. Reflect, REF frequency and then shunt. LPF config. Is that firmware? Are we on 2.00? I think we are. Volume and back. So we'll just e exit that for now. Go back to 40. Quick tune. LSB we're already on. So get out and about. Get some QRP contacts in the log. Just running a few watts. Thanks for watching my unboxing and quick overview. I just want to make sure that I haven't missed anything. 7-3, all the best. Bye for now.